Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this exponential equation. Now, to solve this problem, notice that on the right hand side of this equation, we have 9, which is equal to 3 squared. So, we are going to start by rewriting this equation as 2 to the power x plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 3x over x minus 1 is equal to 3 squared. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power 3x over x minus 1. So here, on the left-hand side, we have this over 3 to the power 3x over x minus 1 and this over 3 to the power 3x over x minus 1. One. Of course, this is going to take care of that. Now, when we look at this, remember that when we have two numbers, one dividing the other, and they have the same base, in this case, 3, that all we have to do is to subtract this exponent from this exponent. So this right hand side is equal to 3 to the power 2 minus 3x over x minus 1. Now to further simplify this exponent, what we are going to do is that we will combine these two fractions into one single unit. Of course, you know that this is 2 over 1. How do we do that? We multiply 2 by x minus 1. So 2 times x minus 1 is going to give us 2x minus 2. Then we have minus then we multiply 1 by 3x. Of course, that is equal to 3x. Then divided by, we multiply 1 by x minus 1. And of course, when we do that, we have x minus 1. Now to simplify this, 2x minus 3x is equal to minus x. Here we have minus 2. And of course, divided by x minus 1. So we have that this original equation is now equal to 2 to the power x plus 2 is equal to 3 to the power minus, let me introduce a bracket. Now, minus x divided by minus 1 is x. Minus 2 divided by minus 1 is plus 2 over x minus 1. And of course, now that we have an equation like this, since this base is not equal to this base, we cannot just equate the exponents. What we have to do is that we will take log of both sides of the equation. So when we do that, we have that log 2 to the power x plus 2 is equal to log 3 to the power minus x plus 2 over x minus 1. Now remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it simply means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. Now the next step to solving this equation is to apply the power rule of logarithms to both sides of this equation. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. We do it to the left hand side and we do it to the right hand side. When we apply this rule, this equation now becomes x plus 2 times log 2 is equal to minus x plus 2 over x minus 1 times log 3. Now let us bring this term over to the left hand side. When we do that, we have x plus 2 times log 2. Of course, this is negative. Going over the equality sign, the sign has to change. It becomes positive. So here we have plus x plus 2 over x minus 1 times log 3. 
and of course this is now equal to zero. Now when you look at these two terms, you will see that they have a common factor which is x plus 2. So let us factorize that. When we do that, we have x plus 2. Now x plus 2 times log 2 divided by x plus 2 is going to give us log 2. And x plus 2 over x minus 1 times log 3 divided by x plus 2 is going to give us log 3 over x minus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, you can see that we have the product of two items equal to 0. Of course, that means that either one of the items is equal to 0 or both of them are equal to 0. So from here, we have that either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or log 2 plus log 3 over x minus 1 is equal to 0. And to solve this first equation, we simply subtract 2 from both sides of the equation and we have that x is equal to minus 2. Now to solve this equation, let us move this over to the right hand side. When we do that, we have that log 2 is equal to minus log 3 over x minus 1. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to cross multiply. When we do that, we have that x minus 1 times log 2 is equal to 1 times minus log 3. Dividing both sides of this equation by log 2, we have that x minus 1 is equal to log 3 minus log 3 over log 2. And of course, when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 1 minus log 3 over log 2. But of course, you know that when we apply the change of base formula for logarithms to this, that is this term, we have that x is equal to 1 minus log to base 2 of 3. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this exponential equation. Now, to check our answer, let us substitute x equal to minus 2 into the left-hand side of this equation. When we do that, we have 2 to the power minus 2 plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 times minus 2 divided by minus 2 minus 1. Here we have 2 to the power 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Of course, 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So this is 1 multiplied by 3 to the power minus 6 divided by minus 3 is equal to 2. So this is 3 squared. This is 1 times 9, which is equal to 9, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. Now to check whether the second value of x satisfies this equation, let us start by evaluating these two exponents. Here we have x plus 2, so that is going to be 1 minus log to base 2 of 3 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, so this is 3 minus log to base 2 of 3. But now, remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. Now, in this case, 3 is going to be our b and 2 is going to be a. So we can rewrite this 3 as log 
to this 2 of 2 to the power 3. And then we have minus log to base 2 of 3. And of course, you know that 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. So here we have log to base 2 of 8 minus log to base 2 of 3. But then remember that log A minus log B is equal to log A over B. So this is equal to log to base 2 of 8 over 3. So we have that x plus 2 is equal to log to base 2 of 8 over 3. Now for the second exponent, we have 3 times x, which is 1 minus log to base 2 of 3 divided by x minus 1. That is 1 minus log to base 2 of 3 minus 1. Opening this bracket, we have 3, that is 3 times 1, minus 3 times log to base 2 of 3 divided by, now 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So here we are left with minus log to base 2 of 3. And of course, you know that we can write this as minus 3 over log to base 2 of 3. And then this is minus and this is minus. So this is going to be plus. Of course, this is now going to cancel this. So here we have 3. Now, of course, you know that we can write this as minus 3 times 1 over log to base 2 of 3 plus 3. And then remember that 1 over log to base 2 of 3 is equal to log to base 3 of 2. So ultimately, this is equal to 3. That is this, minus 3 times, this is now equal to log to base 3 of 2. Now, to rewrite this once more, we go back to this. In this case, 3 is going to be b. And this 3, that is the base of the logarithm, is going to be a. So we can now write 3 as log to this 3 of 3 to the power 3. And then we have minus 3 times log to this 3 of 2. Now, 3 to the power 3 is equal to 27. That is 3 times 3 times 3. So here we have log to this 3 of 27. And of course, when we apply the power rule to this, we have minus log to this 3 of 2 to the power 3. So here we have log to base 3 of 27 minus log to base 3 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Log to base 3 of 8. And of course, once more, according to this rule, we can write this as log to base 3 of 27 over Eight. So we have that this second exponent is equal to log to base 3 of 27 over 8. Now let us substitute into the left hand side to see what we get. Substituting these two exponents, we have that this left hand side is going to be 2 to the power log to base 2 of 8 over 3 multiplied by 3 to the power log to base 3 of 27 over 8. But now let us remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So 2 to the power log to base 2 of 8 over 3 is simply equal to 8 over 3. And 3 to the power log to base 3 
of 27 over 8 is simply equal to 27 over 8. Now, 8 is going to cancel 8. 3 is going to go into 27 9 times. So we have that once more. When we substitute this value of x into this equation, we get that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, which is equal to 9. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.